Come on, you've met one. The office loon, you know. Oh, mad me. Yeah, right. If being mad consists of wearing a silly tie and being able to impersonate an air raid siren on your tea break, then hooray for the gift of comedy. And of course, the truly wacky need an equally zany car to express their just crazy nature. And until now, there's only been one. This, the VW Beetle. Thank you, me. Because now there's a choice of two cars for the truly and irritatingly loopy, with the arrival of this from Chrysler, the PT Cruiser. And it's as mad as a box of frogs, quite clearly. Which is good, because with these two, we can now enjoy wacky races, can't we? Fair enough, you're on. Cowboy. Oh dear. The thing is, although this thing might look completely nutty, basically underneath what you've got is a golf platform. It's nothing more than a golf in a daft fluorescent curly wig and a Hawaiian shirt. So you would expect it to be a pretty nifty drive. The golf certainly isn't bad, but somehow it isn't a shade of the golf's poise on the road. It might be something to do with the feel of the car. This enormous dash area in front puts you more in mind of an elderly Renault Espace than a hot hatch, certainly, and it makes it very difficult to gauge where the corners of the car are, so straight away you feel a bit clumsy. That said, it is very nice and light and bright and airy in here, and the interior is certainly funky. It's not somewhere you could be sombering in a bad mood. The seats, though, definitely don't feel as supportive as they might do, and I wouldn't fancy being in here for a particularly long journey. As for being in the back, forget it. Okay, well, just because we're talking about crazy, wacky cars, we've still got to bring practicality into this. After all, you have to use the thing. In the case of the Beetle, well, it only has the two doors, a rather small boot with, let's be honest, rather limited access. And although the rear seats will fold down to give a bigger load space, you'd be hard pushed to get anything particularly big through that aperture. Yeah, yeah, it's the getting there that matters. Anyway, this is probably a nicer place to be because although it's maybe the nuttier looking of the two cars, it's got by far the more sensible interior. Again, looks deceive. Although it looks much nuttier than the Beetle, it's actually the more sensible to drive. Maybe because underneath those looks, it's actually a fairly ordinary shape. So you can get a better handle on where the ends and corners of the car are. Like the Beetle again, it uses a two-litre engine and it's hardly a firecracker. Makes the car feel a little bit weighty. Mind you, you could probably save some weight by losing the back seats. They weigh a ton. When it comes to practicality in the case of the PT Cruiser, well, it's an entirely different story. Once again, despite it being the nuttier looking of the two, it's actually the more sensible. There's a huge and easily accessible rear boot with a two-level parcel shelf. The rear seat split can fold forward and tip forward again and even be removed completely to give almost van-like space. Sure, the Beetle is a bit of fun, but the PT Cruiser takes it to another plane because it shows not only can you have a lot of fun, but also a practical car. Despite its toontown looks, it's actually as versatile and as easy to live with as many a boring old mini MPV. So yes, it might be the office loon, but it's also very good at its job. <laughs> 